Hello. A few weeks ago, I bought this um, composition book at Hobby Lobby from uh, Webster's Pages. And it was in the section with all the personal planners that you buy and decorate and whatever. Anyway, the only reason I got this, because it's like $10 for it, was because it was clearance down to $2 and something. Something. I don't know. two fifty, I think. And I thought it was pretty, and, and I'm like, oh, composition book. Well, it wasn't, it's not made very well. It, uh, it was only put together by two staples. So I've been thinking and thinking and thinking on it. Should I do the composition book that everybody does? You know, until it, like, fluffs out or whatever, or what? And I really didn't want to do that. I wanted to make something a little nicer. So I have a book, and I can't find the cover at this moment, but these pages came out of it. So these pages came out of the book that I bought, and they're almost the same size except for maybe like an inch off, which I could easily trim to fit this book because I already disemboweled the book. The cover is really nice, and I like to make a few signatures in there. So anyway, this paper being thin, I did not want to have to be gluing together pages and have all this wrinkly, warply stuff. So I thought, well, what if I just sew each page? And then I was like, I don't want to waste all my gesso on all these pages. So I made a gesso out of some white house paint that I had got from Walmart. It was really cheap. It was like $10 a gallon and it was, um, it's like an off-white and it's really not very good paint, but I got it to do some pouring, acrylic pouring stuff. So anyway, I thought, well, what if I mix that with a little bit of glue just to give it some more thickness and some talcum powder or baby powder. It's not talcum powder anymore. It's cornstarch. So that's what I did. I made a mix, uh, and don't ask me the ratios. I just kind of threw it in there and just eyeballed it. And um, I made a little container, poured it about two thirds of the way up with the white paint, a good squirt of school glue, and a good shake of the, the baby powder. And I stirred it up and I made this pretty thick paint and I started painting all the papers. I added a little bit of red on this one just to see what it would do. So I have good sturdy pages here and so far I have some more drying. So far I have done a dozen I believe because these are yeah I have this these are five but I have another six and six more yeah it's 12 so far and I still have quite a few left right here. Now, I don't want to just sew every one of them, so I wanted to do a little variety in there. And I also took some of the pages from the book and just threw some, uh, some inks on here. And crinkled them up and got them wet and juicy and let them dry, and they came out pretty good. And I was thinking about using this as some of the signatures by just taping this together and nestling in as like a signature which is going to be cool so anyway to give it more variety um i decided to maybe decorate this one of the some of these this i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i'm not gonna use this for the book cover but i still like it i might do a junk journal on this i'm not sure but I'm going to put this aside. It'll come to me. Usually stuff like that comes to me when I'm half asleep. Like this morning at 7 o'clock this morning when I'm off and I wake up and can't go back to sleep. And I start thinking and thinking and thinking. And then I was like, wait a minute. Make my own gesso. That's how I can afford to gesso each page. And I'm sure there's some good recipes out there for gessoing pages. 
I didn't bother to look at any of them. <laughs> so I just kind of did my own thing. You know, if you feel safer looking up, or, hey, there, there's a whole bunch of YouTubers out there who make their own gesso, make their own modeling paste. And it's nothing wrong with that. For When you're doing stuff like this, it's just for you. So anyway, what I'm going to do with this, instead of, uh, first I thought about doing this, you know, just staining them, but I'm going to collage a bunch of uh, different things on here. And what the theme of my book, which is not really a theme, it's not going to be a theme, I'm, I'm just going to make some crazy looking pages, just painty papers. It's just going to be full of painty papers, but it's going to be nice and orderly. It's not going to be junky. It's not going to be, um, it's not going to look like I used all my junk mail to put it together. I want this to be a little bit more artsy fartsy. So, the, in fact, I might call it that. I don't know. So, anyway, so far today, that's what I've done. And my hands are, or I've watched my hands a million times already and I still... The only thing I don't like is that smell, that baby powder smell. Next time I go to the store, I got to remember to buy cornstarch, which is really what all it is. And if you buy the baby powder, you're going to get the scented stuff. So what I'm doing with this, I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to grab my Mod Podge. And this is a matte Mod Podge and it's in a uh, sriracha bottle. It just works well for me. It's a lot easier to squirt my Mod Podge onto the paper than be dipping it into something. The only problem is this gets clogged, but it's just a little tip a little, every now and then. I just got to remember to clean it. All right. Um, now, what I, what I was doing before I turned the camera on was tearing up papers up papers because I'm going to use some of the book papers and I have a lot of this. I mean the book is it's pretty thick. So I have quite a few of these pages. And all I'm going to do in this video is just show you guys how I'm going to decorate this one page. And it's going to be part of the signature. I'm not going to finish it. I'm just going to do um, a kind of background that I can put on my book. And once all the signatures get sewn together, then I'm going to do some art on it. But everything is going to have a finished page. I'm not gonna have any naked pages like this. Nothing to write on either. I don't write, I, I really don't. It's just gonna be an artsy, whoopsie book. My own little artsy, artsy book. And it's just going to be full of pretties. And, and that's how I like it. So there. Okay. So, um, tearing up papers here. And I'm going to put different stuff. This one was a page that I put a napkin on. And I thought that was pretty cool. So what I'm going to do with this is, is tear this up. And use some of this on this page also. That's what I'm going to do. And earlier today, I was playing with my, um, my silicone mat as a jelly plate. Trying to see if I can get some of those prints off of magazines like everybody's been doing and I had fun with that and I, I really didn't succeed as much as some people did but I came out with some cool stuff this is one of them um this is actually the magazine page this picture was very simple it was just a girl black and white picture and when I passed a brayer on it the black brayer it created this kind of like a misty look on her face and I really liked it and it gave me a lot of tooth to paint so I went over her face a little bit and enhanced her features with um, translucent paint so I'm gonna incorporate not not maybe not on this page but this one I'm saving this one for 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 a bright idea see that's that's the kind of book I'm gonna have I'm gonna have 
painty stuff, some abstract stuff. Um, a lot of people from I've I've watched so many, so many YouTubers doing um, collages and art journaling and. A lot of the ones that are making their own books, like like what I want to do, or going all the way into the vintage look, and I love that look. It's beautiful, but that's a lot of work. <laughs> I wanted to do one, okay? I wanted to do a little vintage romance kind of lacy everything sepia tea stain coffee stain so I so I've been collecting and collecting stuff and it's like I'm gonna be collecting for a year before I can get enough stuff to make a book so in the meantime while I'm collecting vintage items I want to make more of a pop art kind of style book now, I agree, this is a little bit on the vintage -y side, but that's okay. It's it's not a big part. It's not going to be a big, a big part of this design. It's just here to give me color. All right. So I'm going to take these pages and, and just start tearing, tearing them up. I'm going to cover this whole page with not just book pages I have other stuff too so but I want to make sure I have a good pile good pile of stuff to cover and then once it's all dry I'm going to throw some paint on it and make it really painterly okay uh, in the meantime let me see I have been collecting uh, some of these magazines just have a lot of color you know and I'm just gonna like okay this has got a lot of yellow this yellow would be pretty see it's yellow and the pink yellow and it's got some design on it so hey let me let me try I could throw some of this in there and I'm going to use these magazine pages as like a, a palette. So I'm going to take this off, mostly that part right here, and just concentrate on getting stuff from the model and some of this yellow color, which is pretty cool. And I'm just going to rip. So I have, let's see, I have magazines, I have book pages, oh, 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 and I have something that's really cool, I'm going to show you. The comic section. I don't know how well this is going to work. I've never tried, I've never tried to, to decoupage the comics before. But I really like this one Snoopy one here. It's just too cute. I cannot pass this up. So I'm going to, now I can't find my scissors. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Scissors, where are you? I really need to clean. Really need to clean. Oh, these are. These are awful, but I don't care. I just I just want enough to I just want to cut it out. I, I think the Snoopy one is probably the prettiest as far as the color goes, because we have red and yellow here. And a little bit of black. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut Charles Schultz there all together. And this is just going to be for the background. And newspaper, newspaper is really cool sometimes, um, other than, than just book paper. Let's see, what other, what other stuff do I have? I have some more, more newspaper here. 
Um, don't like that. I just, uh, just some, let's see. Here we go. See, this is, this is kind of like a, a section that's mostly just print, but it's, it's newspaper. Although this is, nah. Okay. And paper just does not want to tear right for me today. But that's okay. I'm going to have a deal. So, there. I should have enough papers here to cover up this whole page. And now this page is... So I got magazine, I got this, I got that. I'm gonna put this away. Alright. I don't know how what size this is. I have okay, they have this ruler. And I just got this. Alright. Uh right here is nine inches. So it is nine and six is 12 inches? No, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, uh, 15 inches is 15 by 10, 15 by 10. And I don't like that, I like, just a plain. Okay. Each paper has a grain. So the grain of the newspaper obviously goes up and down because look how nice that cut off. And I'm going to use this mostly. All right. So right now, all I'm going to do is Mod Podge everything to death. Now, like I've said many times before, I don't edit. I don't know how. And I really don't care at this point. So if it starts to get boring, fast forward. No biggie. Okay. Let me. So where can I start? Where can I start? How about I, I do the edges and go in? Do the edges and go in. Now, I'm not going to go obsessively and cover every tiny piece of white paper. This is going to be well covered with Mod Podge. The Mod Podge acts as a clear gesso because it's it really seals the paper in very well. And... Um, it's excellent for for using markers and to paint on top of. Now, I recently discovered that gel pens do not work on top of Mod Podge. Nope. But that's about it. Everything else works just fine. Pit pens, Sharpies, oh, they're wonderful on top of Mod Podge. Um, I don't know about watercolor pencils, but I know watercolor works great. It just doesn't absorb into the paper, which is a technique that uh, people use for for watercolors. I just had some nachos for for dinner, and my mouth is so dry. Okay, so what I'm doing this now. I have this on top of parchment paper. I've never used parchment paper. I am relying on the, its ability. To non-stick. I was going to film this on top of um, non-stick Reynolds wrap, which works excellent. I love it. I love it a lot. But I noticed the aluminum foil was uh, making a reflection to the camera, and it was looking like it was in a shadow or something. I couldn't figure out what was going on. I thought something was wrong with my light. I kept looking at it. And no, it's, it's still aluminum foil. It, I, it's for some kind of reflection. And I can show you right here. <clears throat> oh, 
Hold on. Okay. This, I love working with this, but it, uh, I don't know. Let me see. See? It's not good on the camera. <laughs> so I had to switch to uh, parchment paper, but it's, it's great work surface. Nothing will stick to that. I have not found anything that will stick to that. In fact, I tried to put some masking tape on it so I can do some washi tape, handmade washi tapes, and it would not lay down. So there you go. If you want a really good non-stick surface, non-stick aluminum foil by Reynolds Wrap. And no, they're not paying me to say that. <laughs> I wish. But no, maybe I should write them. I said, Dear Reynolds Rat, I really, 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 really love your product. Can you send me some free freebies and I'll do commercials for it on my YouTube channel. And they're going to say, and who are you? Oh, well, maybe one day I'll be famous enough to get sponsors. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that noise behind here. That's my mom watching a TV show. She watches her favorite TV show, well, one of her favorites, this time of night. Now, I don't want to put too much bulky stuff here in the middle because this is going to be folded together and added as signature. So this has a sharp edge. We're going to go right here with it. Fortunately, this one's a little bit on the thick side. So I might have a little trouble gluing this one down straight. So I'm going to put a little Mod Podge on the back of it too. Okay. Now, the Mod Podge is going to make this paper all wrinkly and kind of loopy, but that's okay because it's not in, it's not sewn in yet, so I really don't care. What's going to happen is it's going to make it a little wompy, but then the back of it, when it's, once this dries really well, the back of it, I'm probably going to do maybe just a wash of different colors and and just uh and then mod podge it also so it will eventually lay flat not completely i don't expect this to be my pages to be laying completely flat it's not going to it's going to be a little ruffly but not the crazy ruffle stuff that you see mostly with composition books and I really didn't want to glue pages together. So, so far, it doesn't seem to be sticking to parchment paper. This is the first time I ever buy parchment pa paper. This stuff's expensive. Yeah. I mean, the Reynolds wrap is cheaper than that. Which I'm happy with the Reynolds wrap. Really. I am. I like the Reynolds Rat. But, like you see, it does not work on camera. Too much reflection of the lights. Now, when you have thin paper like this, and you're mod podging, just make it really, really wet, and work it in there with your fingers. I have developed... Another technique, well, I don't know if I developed it, but I've been working on a, on a technique to where if you prep your, your paper first, you won't get the bubbles, which I'm going to be doing one of those uh, kind of vintage steampunk style pictures pretty soon. 
and I have a few magazine images that I want to put on a canvas but this being like a real canvas and stuff and I didn't I don't want it to look all funky like the journals look you know in case somebody wants to buy it or something who knows next weekend I think it's next weekend not this weekend coming but next weekend um supposed to be involved with a we have a well I am involved with a group called Lifelines uh, we're out of Homa and my friend Titus Sawa runs it and it's uh, mostly it's, it's well, originally it's, it's a suicide prevention program and we do things to to make money for the group and what it does it helps it helps a lot of people. It, it gives us the, the means to help people who are going through bad times. Now, my friend uh, Titus, he's an ordained minister and counselor. And um, he's helped a lot of people. He's talked through a lot of people whether it's you know it doesn't have to be a, it's not really it's not a religious organization or, or else I, I wouldn't be in it but <laughs> it is uh, it helps it, it, they do a lot of help with um with suicide prevention and it's mostly it's mostly kids you know it's so sad it's mostly kids um a lot of them are are from the lgbtq community um and, and while he's he's been working on this for, I want to say a year now, he got involved with another group and decided to go off on his own and and work. Things seem to have been working out better for him that way. Um. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, uh, oh yeah. So anyway, um, you know when you start working with a certain group of people say uh, suicidal people you start to come across other issues like homelessness so now we're also help helping the homelessness and the homeless and this past winter that was a horrible freezing winter now I live in in South Louisiana our winters are very mild we seldom ever get a freeze um at least not in my area but this year it, it, it really became bad so we collected a lot of uh warm clothing used well uh not well used but you know softly used <laughs> coats and blankets and things like that to to help the people who were sleeping on the street and with the money that we have raised also for the suicide prevention uh, we've been able to feed feed them and and close them and uh, my friend Titus said uh, through some connections, were was even able to house some, uh, to bring them into shelters. Uh, we don't work with any particular church, uh, although he does uh, find places that will help us out. Uh, this past winter, what we did, we just uh, we just went out in the street and to find them a lot of people are in the Homa area they they park underneath the bridges because it gives them some kind of shelter or they camp out there in the freezing cold um, we did find one gentleman he was inside of he was he was in the uh, Lowe's parking lot, and the Lowe's parking lot 
they have the little sheds that you buy to put them in your backyard so you can put your mowing machine, your tools, you know, just one of those um, tin metal sheds that you put in your yard. Well, they have these little sheds outside of Lowe's built to show to people. And we found a man in there trying to escape the cold. And it's just a sad situation for many of them. We had um, one fellow living in the truck. He's still living in, he's living in his truck and mostly he parks at the Walmart here in town and in, in Homa or he kind of moves around from Walmart to Home Depot to the Lowe's and tries to get maybe some a little bit of a job here and there or whatever um, it's a sad situation there's only so much we can do for people All that stuff just takes money. You know? Takes money. Money makes the world go round. So, we do all these little things to raise money. And one of them is bake sale. So, this, uh, ne not this Saturday, but next Saturday, I think the 14th, April 14th, we're having a bake sale. And I forgot where it's going to be. Oh, dang it. Um, I'll put the, 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 um, details on my description for this video, <clears throat> although I know most of you can't go, but if you are, <coughs> in the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> <coughs> okay, if you happen to be in the South Louisiana area, of Homa, Louisiana, and Homa is about just 50 miles southwest of New Orleans. You should stop by and buy some goodies from us. Not only that, we are also doing a raffle. Several local businesses have donated uh, things here and there. And, uh, yeah, we raffle out stuff. And one of, uh, one of the things in the raffle is one of my paintings. It's called Playful Kitty. I think it's on my page. It's an abstract, um, but this, it's not an... It's one of those um, paintings where you, you kind of like see the silhouette of things. It's, it's really cute. It's pretty. Anyway, it's called Playful Kitty. Like my kitty right there playing with the aluminum ball. Get away from there. Get. Oh. Well. And uh, yeah, that somebody's gonna win that. And also, I'm going to be there selling uh, a lot of stuff that I have that I could sure get rid of. And proceeds from that are going to Team Lifelines, which goes to help people who are contemplating suicide, helps the homeless. Helps people who are in dire need or are about to be homeless. Um, it also helps Titus get get the um, the help these people get need. So anyway, we're called Team Lifelines, and I should put a link to it. See, it's looking cute. And then now that the little dots on the page are looking very polka dotty. 
Okay, so where does, oh, I don't know. Where did this come in? I'm gonna have to tear it. I hate to tear my Snoopy. But that's how it's gonna be. Or, if I just cut them out and just put them here and there. I have a lot of artwork sitting in, my, in the spare room over there in my mom's house, which is where I'm at right now, living. And no one seems to be interested in buying it right now, so I'm just going to quarter all that stuff off over there and see if anybody's interested in buying it. Maybe they'll buy it, meaning that proceeds are going to a charity but I do get some of that though because I need to replace that okay here it goes tearing oh poor Snoopy tearing him up tearing him up put Snoopy here and there and everywhere and then probably cover him up too with other stuff. Snoopy is just going to be part of the background. Okay. He needs a lot of a lot of mosh posh. Make it juicy. Make it juicy. Nice and stuck on there without getting all crazy bubbly. Little Snoopy. And I'm gonna put Snoopy over here. See, all this uh, gluing of papers is really gonna make this paper thick. Yes, it is. Want to bring it right up? Oh, dang it! Right up to the edge. Now, newspaper. I have found that you should let it sit around for for a, a week or two before you use it. When it's fresh off the press, don't go buy a newspaper that was came out that day and go collage on it. You're going to get full of ink smears. I've had that before. So, give it up about a week. This, this paper is... Let me see. I bought this. It's over a week old. This was Sunday's paper. Not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before. And today is Tuesday. So, yeah. It's, it's a week and two days old. So it is not smearing or going anywhere. I like it. It's looking good. Maybe down. Ah. Right here. Oh, I need to go get get me another bash. Batch, not bash. Batch. Oh, podge podge. I use this stuff to death. I buy it at Hobby Lobby. It's $8.99 for the big jar, which I think is I want to say eight ounces or 16. No, it's 16 ounces is $8.99. With a 40% off, and I did the math. <laughs> With a 40% off coupon, I can't remember the exact numbers. It, uh, it's, it's a pretty good buy. And then I have my employer's discount. 
and it's it's a better deal than getting the smaller one which is $5.99 the 8 ouncer so it's, it's a better deal per ounce right here oh, this is kind of falling off put a little bit right here this needs some color all right and then um i watch a lot of uh lori marie jenkins videos yeah she loves to put Mod Podge on everything. Mod Podge. It. She buys it by the gallon off of Amazon, and I looked it up, and it's a pretty good deal. It's it's about as good as uh, or better than buying the eight ounce. I mean the sixteen ounce for eight ninety nine with the coupon and my um my discount. It still comes up better buying it off of Amazon. Free shipping, and I can't remember how much it was, but the gallon Mod Podge, it's a good deal. Yep. Okay. So, I've got a lot of that, plus some newspaper. Newspaper print or, or something else. <sighs> let me think, let me think, let me think, think, think. You know what? I need some print. Not this little print and not this little print, but something bigger. Like like this. Aldo! I have a friend named Aldo. He'll appreciate that one. So, that's pretty cool. There's some print right there. Um, what else? What else we got? Uh, moi, moi moisturized hair care. Oh, that's like my moi petite. That's my little baby girl. My moi petite paws. Moi. What else? What else? Remix. Remix is good. That's a good word. I'm just grabbing junk off my floor, y'all. You saw my room. You like, oh my god. Uh, yeah see some words some text that's a moi remix right here the kernels that's our local um College, Nichols State University, Univers University <laughs> in Tipito, Louisiana. I went to Nichols many, many years ago. Oh my God. I wish I would have finished. So stupid. Yes, youth is wasted on the young. Okay, we're gonna put the kernels. Cover that hole right there with the kernels. There we go. The remix is gonna go. Oops, it's almost stuck. I think I like the remix down here. The remix is the lonely chat. No, that's the reflex. <laughs> is it? Not the remix, the reflex. All right, mix and remix. I like that. Mix and remix. And aldo. Yeah. Back in the 80s, they used to have this commercial. I think it was for a wine. And they had this little Italian dude named Aldo. Aldo, Aldo Nova. Oh, um, we tease Aldo to death, fourth kid. Aldo, Aldo Nova. Some Italian wine. That was funny. There. Aldo. Moi. And I didn't. 
I swear I didn't I didn't plant that there. I, I never use print like this for magazines, but you know, I'm looking at something here that's just gonna be oh pretty much. Okay, I have some big spots right here. I wanna cover it up. I don't I don't mind little spots like this, but these big areas. I need more reinforcement. Let's see. Let's see if I can be that lucky and grab something else off the floor that I have. Pretty please. Yeah. Okay. I like this. Pretty please. I had pulled these. Um, earlier trying to do that transfer jelly prints but I don't have a jelly print so there was that but I had fun I got some cool stuff I sure did in fact I should use those on here okay after pretty please let me see if I can find some of the ones that I I did earlier. Now where did I put the, ah, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, playing around with my silicone mat. A kind of jelly print knot <laughs> on it. I got some cool stuff. Let's see, I like this. But that's just too dark. This is, I want this to be nice. I'm bright. Let's see if I can find something that's bright. Ah, I like that. This is one of my favorites. It actually printed. Yeah. And and that's on a silicone mat. Cool. And maybe a little bit of uh since I'm going with the pink and green, yep, that's it. And this, this is actually the magazine page. I just like the way the paint got on it. <coughs> I might use that for something else. I've gotten to a point to where everything that I've been hoarding, I'm finding uses for, which is really fun. I was like, oh, well, that's what you use that for. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right. These are going to be tiny because I don't want a big color pop here. There is no need have a really big color pop with this. Uh, oh, right here. See? Oh, what is this? Glue booger. Okay. Here we go. My brush is starting to get gunky. And I'm not worried about the pieces sticking out of the paper. So all that's going to be trimmed. When it's dry, yeah, I like that right there. I see at this point, I don't care if I cover up Snoopy, little little Snoopy, he's gonna get covered up. I wonder how long I've been doing this video. Oh, some. Just right here, right here. I just want it as calculatively, painstakingly random as can be. If that makes any sense. I 
the other day. Oh my God. That is my water bottle. <laughs> I grabbed my water bottle instead of my Mod Podge. <sighs> what a mess. Okay. No biggie. The paper needs to be wet anyway, right? Wait. Who said it needs to be dry? Okay, let me mop up the extra. <sighs> and I'm gonna stop gluing. Oh boy. Good thing it's. <sighs> oh boy. What a mess. <sighs> hmm. I wonder now if I should load this video up. Maybe I should. Why not? Actually, getting this wet is not a big deal. Because it will help with the spreading of the inks. Which is what I intend to do anyway. Okay. We're good. We're good. No panic. No panic. My water. It's going to be to my left side, which is harder to reach for. And Mod Podge on the right. <sighs> what a ditz. That's what I get for talking and crafting. Okay. This. I don't want to tear that one up. I like it too much. Um, I need a little bit of something over here. Still too big to just let it let it loose. See, it works just fine. The Mod Podge actually will adhere better. That's wet. I'm used to working wet on wet. Anyways, so it's not that big a deal. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay, I still got a big hole here and a big hole here. Hmm. And I'm just gonna add some more of this. A big hole. Oh, I really need to put a little bit. I don't even need as much Mod Podge now because it's just spreading like butter. Probably should have wet this all along. Like that right there. Get these flowers maybe a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, now one spot right here. What am I missing right there? What do I have? What do I have? I put up all the little flowers. Oh, here's one. Oh. It's gonna be on top of that. It's gonna make it really bulky. Or do it like that. Yep. And like I said, it doesn't matter if it sticks out the paper. I will be trimming it anyways, and um, I'm going to have to trim it. Because the book is not quite as tall. It's the same width, but not quite as tall. That's if I go with that book I'm thinking about. All right, here we go. So, now we got a wet, sticky gooey mess. And I'm a Mod Podge for right now. Put that up. <clears throat> and I'm going to start painting this. But to paint it, I actually need it to be wetter. See, this is why I'm not really that worried about it because it needs to be more evenly wet since all this got really really wet but, all right just like 
slightly wet, wetty wet. And what color should I go with? I'm thinking, I'm thinking a green maybe, this green. Some green, where is my, aha, uh -huh. that must have been what fell earlier. Is, oh, here we go. So I'm gonna put some green here, some here. Here and what goes well green? Some yellow, then it'd be just yellow, green, orange, orange. The problem with green, it will mix. So let's just do the green for right now. Oh, I know. And I need to get more of this. This really works well. Just about anything. It's Anita's metallics and white. I like this white because it's pearly, but it's also very translucent. And it's not, ooh, I got a big old paint snot in here. You! <laughs> okay. It's not uh, as opaque as regular titanium white. Wow. Okay, yeah, definitely need a new bottle of metallic, metallic white. All right, here we go. Just gonna run some of this on it. Woo, that is a juicy mess. Be too much of a juicy mess. The green took over, but the white, the metallic in the white, is going to cause some really cool effects. So in the meantime, you know what? I'm just going to pick up some of the extra. See, I had meant to make a big old juicy mess anyway. That's cool. Let's see what else I could throw up in there. Oh, there's some more of this paper. is sticking nope and I can clean that off and let's see while it's still wet I'm gonna spray a little bit of this tatters angel uh, glitter mist and this is stormy night and just a little bit if you ever work with these things make a tent like that. All right. I need to go get my blow dryer and blow this baby up and see what happens. Be right back. blow dryer in the bathroom because I actually blow dry my hair this last time I got a haircut and it needs to be styled pretty soon I'm going to do a video so you guys can see what I look like but normally you do not want to see what I look like right now
Now th this part, you, you might really want to just fast forward. It's not sopping wet anymore, but as you can see, it's still pretty much wet on this side, which is okay because I need to do something with this side. This is going to be part of a signature. It's going to fold this way, and this part needs to have something special. Uh, I think what I'm going to do on this one is mostly inks. And I'm not going to put as much as I did to that other one. Okay, let's see. What can we do? We'll start with yellow because yellow is a friendly color. And as you can see, it still has a lot of yellow, especially around these edges here. And I'm going to use the same brush I've been using for the Mod Podge, and it's really wet. That's okay. And I'm just going to paint this out. Let's see what else can be. Oh, yeah. This fluorescent pinkish thing. This is uh, airbrush paint. Love airbrush paint. It's so yummy. It's, it's just very fluid. <laughs> but full of color. Full of color. I mean, I probably just put way too much there. And I'm just spreading this around. And this is all acrylic. Yeah. Airbrush paints. It's acrylic fluid paints. And look at that color. Love it. Love it. It's pretty. All right. And since we go in with the yellow pink theme, how about a little bit of orange? Just a little bit. What is this? This is, uh, do I have another orange? Flame orange. Let me see what else I got. 
Indian yellow. I like this. This is a darker yellow, a little bit more closer to an orangey yellow, which I like. All right. We'll spray that. A little bit of water. There we go. And just kind of like move it along. Just something to cover up all that white. All that white. Ooh, that is a bright yellow. I mean a dark yellow. Strong yellow. How about a little bit more of this pink? I like this pink. turns a different color on top of that dark yellow than on the white. Yeah. And soften up some of those brush strokes there. paper towel. I'm going to pick up some of this and I'll see some of these hair right there. Oh, she is shedding so bad. I'm going to give her a bath. Scrub her good. I like that. And then the last little bit I'm going to put on here it's pink, but it's a sundown magenta, and it has a shimmer. So I think it, uh, maybe give it a little bit of a, of a shimmer, some shimmer. There we go. See all that panicking about getting this all wet? It really doesn't matter because I'll get it all wet anyways. All right, this is a little bit too cakey right there. And that's it. That's gonna be it for this page. That's enough. And that is part, it's going to go into one signature. I think I should put one in each signature like this, just one because it's so thick. guys this is it um it's very wet oh 
and it's tearing up right there because it's so wet. So I'm going to have to reinforce that. Dang it. Maybe on this side. Yeah. But that's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. This needs to sit up and all night and dry really well. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.